Here we go then, the first match preview of round two of the Six Nations, and it is England versus Wales, as you can tell by the flags. Um, I know the Scotland France is happening first, but the Scotland team's not out yet, and these two teams are out. That, that's that's simply the reasoning behind this. Um, yeah, um, this could be quite an exciting game. Both teams, I'm not a hundred percent sure how they're gonna play, but we'll have a look. So again, we'll start off with the lineups. An England name, an unchanged first fifteen, with one Marler, two George, three Stewart, four Itoji. 5, Chesham, 6, Roots, 7, Underhill, 8, Earl, 9, Mitchell, 10, Ford, 11, Daly, 12, Dingwall, 13, Slade, 14, Freeman and 15, Stewart. I think a few of them played well. Uh, Freeman played well, I thought. Um, I think, again, Ford saved England. Again, the book of Ford saved England. Then a team that still struggles to score tries. I said this in my whole Six Nations preview. England are struggling to score tries at the minute. They, in what should have been their easiest game against Italy, they only scored two tries. You know, they won because Ford kicked five penalties. So that's definitely an area where England need to work on. Um, then going on to the bench, a few changes. You've got uh, 16 Dan, 17 Genge, 18 Cole, 19 Coles, 20 Cunningham South, 21 Kerr, 22 Finn Smith, and 23 Faye Waboso. Um, so Waboso does start for England. Or on the bench, sorry, for England, which a lot of people said, is that a bit of a prick move from Borthwick after all the controversies about him? I mean... I've not seen too much of the lad, but he seems a decent player, so I'd, I'd like to think they'd just pick him because he's a good player. Um, but that England team's not too bad. Um, we'll now go over to the Welsh team, which has changed fairly dramatically from the team that started against Scotland. So you have 1, Gareth Thomas, 2, D, 3, Aserati, 4, Jenkins, 5, Beard, 6, Mann, 7, Raffle, 8, Wainwright, 9, Williams, 10, Lloyd, 11, Dyer, 12, Tompkins, 13, North, 14, Adams, and 15, Winnett. So quite a few changes. Um, nice to see players like Mann getting a start. Uh, Lloyd at 10 could be interesting. Um, Rio and Adams keeping their way. I think this is a, a um, make or break game for Adams. Um, I really do. Um, I think if he doesn't do too well, I would imagine I can see him dropping out for the Ireland game in round three. Uh, North is back as well, um, and then there's players in there like um, Wainwright and Williams who I thought did well, especially in that second half last weekend. Sorry, my thought's quite bad. And then we go into the bench. You have 16 Elias, 17 Domachowski, 18 Griffin, 19 Rollins. 20 Basham, 21 Hardy, 22 Evans, 23 Grady. So there is your teams, both looking pretty solid. Now to have a look at the game, and this game I think is extremely unpredictable. Because I think both Wales and England showed glimpses, but very inconsistent. As I said, England are still struggling to score tries. Wales, I think, struggled to get much going, you know, they kind of needed Scotland to let them get going. Um, but I can see Wales winning this game, although at Twickenham, and in England that probably won't be too. I mean, neither of these teams will be that happy with their games. I think they both will think that they could have done better. England, especially, I think Wales will just be on cloud nine that they almost came back against Scotland, but. England, I think, you know, they only beat Italy by three points and got outscored try-wise. If I was England, a team that, you know, came third in the World Cup and was talking up, you know, we can't, they, that they can go on and win this, I think they do need to improve. Um, so I think on that matter, I am going to say that England are probably going to win this game. I'd, I'd love to see Wales do it because I think, especially that fight against Scotland and with such a young team, 
to get a big statement win and England at Twickenham for a lot of teams that is the biggest statement you can get minus beating the All Blacks or something England at Twickenham is kind of the game especially the Welsh or most of the six want to win so I think Wales will push hard but I think England will just be slightly too strong and mind you though if Wales can keep the penalty count low like what was it only four conceded against Scotland or something mad like that I think they would sta- they will stand a chance because as I said England struggled to score tries now probably me saying that England are going to score and score, and score at six or seven now but you know if Wales can stop Ford getting into positions to kick it I think England will struggle but I think yeah I think England will win I think it'll be tight but I think England will take it so yeah let me know your thoughts on the game um, thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and um, until next time I shall see you legends later where hopefully in about half an hour or so the Scotland team will be out and I'll do the Scotland France and it'll probably be tomorrow to the Ireland Italy but yeah thank you for watching and I shall see you later